Hey, Jer, so what do we have going on here? Hey, so this is our residential refrigerator here in our Jayco Seneca. And um, we winterized it this past uh, winter and drained out the water from the front um, lines. But unfortunately, there's still some residual water that, that was within the system above the valves. So there, there are valves in the back of this um, refrigerator that allow the water from your system to go up and create ice and, and have a water dispenser. Um, there are actually two valves back here. The first is um, this valve here um, that uh, was cracked and damaged by the winter. Um, and I was able to reach this kind of by pivoting it. I had to build myself a 18 inch um, um, platform here uh, that I reinforced so that I would be able to take it out. You see it sits up high, right? So I had to take it out here and set it onto the platform. Um, and I replaced this uh, piece already. This was what I could see by just kind of pivoting it here, but unfortunately uh, there was another piece inside that I needed a, a refrigerator guy to help me find this piece here is also cracked and you can see the damage is pretty substantial. Um, this is a crack essentially from water that's frozen within the valve. The thing about valves is that no matter what happens, if you drain the front system, there's still always going to be a little bit of water above the valve. And, you know, in my opinion, based on my you know, first year experience here with this residential refrigerator, it really is not designed to be winterized. And no matter what you do, you're not gonna be able to get it fully winterized. There's gonna be some residual water within the pump um, that has the potential to crack and then you end up with damage like this. Now this part itself is about a hundred and some dollars. Of course, you know, I'm gonna to have to pay to ship it. And, um, and this part was a hundred and some dollars as well. So in the end, a couple hundred dollars worth of damage. Um, but we've had some, you know, we've had some floor damage because of the, the uh, leaks. Um, we've had some damage within here. This is the refrigerator um, cutout, if you will. Um, so we've had some damages here as well. Um, so uh, something to be aware of. Um, I'm not sure that it's a good design. Uh, I do like having a residential refrigerator and we intend upon keeping it heated in the winter from now on. So I don't know that this particular problem will happen for us again. But I would say that uh, in general, you know, you're probably going to be safer off with those Dometic, uh, you know, true uh, motorhome or RV refrigerators rather than going with a residential refrigerator uh, that particularly in this case has a water dispenser and an ice maker. I suppose if you went with one that did not have a water um, dispenser and an ice maker, you might be okay. But, um, but in this case, it's turned out not to be so good. A lot of work.